this film is so much fun. Uh, it, there's so much heart and there, it's just a really fun family film. What about the script stood out to you and what sets it apart from some of the other roles you've been a part of? Um, well, I was actually really nervous to read the script because I was such a fan of the book. And um, so I was like, I, I immediately wanted to do it, but then was saying, wait, you have got to read the script. Um, and oh, Brad did such an incredible job. Uh, and and I just, I it was such an easy yes because um, the script had everything and more that I could have hoped for. And um, and it was just really exciting to do something that my kids already were familiar with. <laughs> so uh, so it was kind of a no brainer. Nice. Now, Matilda, oh my God, she was amazing. She's like wise beyond her years. What surprised you most about her? And did you give her any advice? Well, I guess what surprised me most is she's actually like 75 years old. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she has to be because she is so, like you said, wise beyond her years. She is so talented. She's so professional as well. And and like her family is is, is just so wonderful. So I, I it's not hard to see why she is so incredible, but I was just so relieved that, <laughs> that, that they obviously like, you know, found this unicorn. <laughs> or one of the, that, and like one of the most amazing things about this film is the three of your three's chemistry is just like, it's impeccable. It's perfect. Was there anything that you guys did on set to kind of help build off, build that chemistry? Um, yeah, and L Lena was really um, mindful and considerate about um, building in time for rehearsal and just kind of bonding experiences. Mm -hmm. And for Matilda and I, um, she uh, Lena asked me, like, what do you think um, you guys should do, like miniature golf or whatever? And I was like, does she like crafting? <laughs> I love crafting. And I was like, and she's a kid, so she probably does too, right? <laughs> um so we actually just like spent a couple hours crafting together and um, it was so much fun that I immediately left there and went straight to like the Michaels down the street from me <laughs> and bought more supplies for the next time we got to do it. And, mm -hmm. um, and we just had a blast. It was really fun. That's amazing. Now this film does it like an amazing job at highlighting uh, the non-nuclear family. Uh, what type of message do you want, you know, fans and viewers to take away from this film? Well, I really hope that uh, that they come across uh, or take away from the uh, <laughs> I hope they take away the message of hope um, because it, you know, especially now, things can be very dark and and overwhelming, and and it's okay to have hope, and you kind of have to have it in order to get yourself through whatever your situation is, and. Um, and so I just hope they're inspired by that and that, that, that it really, if you open your eyes and look for it, it's actually not too hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, it's just once you forget that you need it, it's hard to find. Now this family, is, this film is a great family film. Now, mm -hmm. uh, where, did your kids love this film and where did this rank on, on mom's you know, top roles that she's worked on? Oh, this is absolutely their favorite. I'm, I mean, they haven't seen everything I've done, but uh, but they, the, watching them watch it was just like maybe the greatest gift I've gotten as a, as an actress um, and a mom. Or well, but um, it, it, it just the laughter, like they are, they genuinely loved it, and not because I'm in it, that yeah. like. It, they just loved it. They can't wait to watch it again. They can't wait for their friends to see it. Um, and they were just so engaged and just, uh, there were moments I had to pause the television because they were laughing so hard they were going to miss an entire scene, <laughs> it, which is awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. So, it, and we all were, my husband and I kept looking at each other and we're like, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. And we're not like people that, you know, we're super critical when we watch our ourselves. So, so it was, it was, we're, we're so happy. I'm awesome. so happy. Now there's a lot of fun side characters as well. Were there any of them like maybe Kate or Danny that you wish you had more uh, scenes with? Yes, both of them. I never even got to see Kate, which was heartbreaking. <laughs> um, but uh, absolutely. I could watch Danny, uh, you know, like do anything all day long. He is, so hilarious his physical comedy is just impeccable and 
I, 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 I will just watch anything he does. Now, Ben is, you know, on par with all his physical comedy as well. He's hilarious. Can you describe your guys' dynamic? I mean, he's big on improv. Did you guys do a little improv uh, while filming this film? Yeah, Lena was really open to, you know, if we wanted to, uh, you know, like we'll do some that were the script and then just kind of uh, wing it or whatever. Um, and I, I think the most fun I had with Ben was the scene where we're kind of greeting each other awkwardly at the door <laughs> and trying to sort of do an awkward greeting was really fun to kind of fun, like play with and figure out. And um, it, I really enjoyed that. That's really fun. Now, Phyllis and George, they never really fell out of love. Um, why do you think that they felt the need to separate or, you know, move out? Right. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what's interesting about their relationship. It, it wasn't that it fell apart because like someone betrayed, you know, the other or something terrible happened in their relationship. I think it was just life got overwhelming and they sort of lost sight of one another and they didn't nurture that relationship. And then and then they were so far apart, they couldn't they couldn't see how to to come back together. So the easiest solution seemed to like, well, we better try separating. Um, and, and I also see that like that's happening with Phyllis and her daughter um, at the beginning of the movie where she is just so overwhelmed by the stressors of life that, that she's losing sight of, of what's super important and what really should be her inspiration, not the yeah. statue. Um, and so it's great that this little squirrel comes in and and shifts everybody's perspective. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, if you were, uh, you know, an award-winning novelist, what type of genre do you think you would uh, want to write? Ooh, I mean, that's a very hard question because I'm so intimidated by writing, probably because I've, I've um, had the luck to, to work with such incredible writers. But I would hope that it would be comedy because that's what I enjoy. I like reading it. I like laughing. I just I feel like laughter just makes everything better. So that's what I would hope. But I'm also saying that it, I, it's not going to happen. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank you. You too.